Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to another edition of the program, The Woman. On to today's edition, we'll be talking about the courage today, empowering girls to act and impact. And as guest on the edition is Mrs. Fidel Jeba. Mrs. Fidel Jeba is not only a woman of character, she is a writer, she is a social worker, and a holder of a certificate in psychology. When she is not busy, she manages her association, Rayon de Soleil. Rayon de Soleil, which is an association that promotes the culture and the rights of women from the far north region of Cameroon. She hails from the far north region of Cameroon, where women are expected to be mothers and perfect wives. We'll be meeting our guest after the break. You're welcome back to the program. Good morning, Mrs. Jeba. You're welcome to the program. Okay, thank you. Yes. When we talk about uh, the woman from the far north region of Cameroon, we are expected to meet a woman who is not educated, a woman who could barely express herself in French or in English. But this is not your case. Oh, I think those are, this is just uh, wrong ideas. That is the, some prejudice people have. Uh, concerning women from the far north. I think uh, we are not like our grandmothers. Now we are in a, a different context and then we are trying to get uh, the education we need. We are trying to be as bilingual as possible. So uh, I think this is not the case as it used to be. So now you will find a lot of women, young women from the far north who are doing great things. They are becoming engineers, they are becoming doctors, doing many, many things. So maybe people should change their minds regarding the women from the far north region and the northern regions at all. Okay, you are the founder of the association uh, Rayon de Soleil. Why? Uh creating an, an association to promote the culture and the rights of women from the far north region and why the appellation Rayon de Soleil? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, we've decided that is, uh, we created Rayon de Soleil in 2006. So this is now 11 years and we created in Marwa. And then the main objective was to empower women with leadership uh, skills and to help them have access to education. So because we, we found out at that time that a lot of girls uh, were dropped out from schools and a lot were not going to school. Uh, some were forced to get married at the very tender age. And then there were so many problems. And then given the statistics of Cameroon, we know that the Fatno regions, in the Fatno region, women are not really, really educated. They have the, the, the lowest, the lowest uh, uh, education rate. So we say, okay, me coming from that region, me staying in the region, I say, what can I do to help other women also have uh, some education as I had the opportunity? Uh, and then 